Hey everybody, Russell, I'm back. Hey, I just want to show you a quick product. It's called the Rad Easy Bike Hoist. What this is going to allow me to do is clear up some of my garage space. All right, floor space is premium in a garage, especially when you got a lot of gear. I took bicycles and I'm going to put them up on the ceiling so that way I have more floor access. Let me show you what happened. Inside every box, you're going to have two of the exact same. About 30 yards of line, soft nylon, two ceiling mounting brackets, one with a lock, one without, it's just the pulley. You're also going to have two sets of hooks that you can use to hold up bicycles or what else, whatever else you want to hold on there. It also comes with a set of screws as well as a rope um, tie-off. Broke my foot jumping off a waterfall uh, a couple of months ago and my oh, wife's still mad. But some of the things you're going to need in order to put this install up. Well, when in the package, it's going to give you these little two inch uh, bolts. And those are designed to go in either side of each bracket and hold it in place. Now, in a lot of, pa in a lot of other reviews, you're going to hear folks talk about, well, the stud that these are supposed to go into the bracket's too wide and then you have to go in into an angle all right to get into the stud well in this particular uh box in the instructions it tells you you're going to need a lag bolt what's a lag bolt now this is a lag bolt now that right there with a washer is going to go straight up the middle of each of your brackets and this is what's going to sink into that two by four up in your roof nice and tight and hold it up into your uh, your ceiling so these do not come with the package but you will need these to install it properly now i plan on putting a 75 pound electric uh, bicycle up so i'm definitely definitely going to need to use lag bolts right now i got the wife's beach cruiser up there and that barely weighs about 35 pounds no problem for these, but you're gonna need these. So keep that in mind if you're gonna do this install that you're gonna have to go out to the hardware store or Home Depot and pick you up some two inch lag bolts with some washers. I just happen to have a couple left around, lying around from another project and I just use them and they work just fine. Here we go. It's now hung up and ready for use. As you can see, that it has plenty of clearance for me to get my Jeep in and for me to walk under to get other things such as my camping gear, my boards in the back, all right? You can do it, you can do it. What did it take? Well, it took a little bit of effort. Now, as you can see, I'm kind of strapped literally for garage space with my donkey in here uh, she takes up quite a bit of room and I wanted to make sure sitting on 38 inch tires with a four and a half inch lift that this bike rack was going to work and it did. So let me show you how it turned out after we installed it. All right, so let's go ahead and put this thing up. I'm going to show you how easy it is. And again, as you can see, I don't got wall space. So it's not like I'm going to hang a bike up on my walls, but I do have ceiling space. So right now, I got it here just kind of resting and the rope is just a thin nylon rope, all right? And you just pull until you get into the desired, desired position Say that three times fast. And then you just lock in place. Now it also comes with a little hook that you can tie off the excess rope. Now, that's all there is to it. <clears throat> you get a lot of rope. You get a lot of rope with uh, <clears throat> these, uh, bike hoists and uh, it's obvious because 
uh, everybody has different height ceilings. Um, you want to make sure you have enough length, whether you want to space out um, your, your brackets for a much bigger item. Remember, you get a 100 pound capacity. So with 100 pounds, hmm, I don't know. I'm leery at 100 pounds. I mean, that's pushing it. But definitely, I would hang anything 75, 80 pounds on down with it. Make sure you use the uh, lag bolts as it asks you to. It doesn't come with it again, but uh, they're super cheap. You can get them for a couple of cents at a local hardware store, and uh, that will secure it nice and tight up there. Well, I hope this helped you guys out. Don't forget to hit the like button, and I'll see you on the next set of tips and tricks. This is Russell with Adventures from Dawn to Dusk. I'll see you later.